In this video I will tell you exactly how I would learn to program and what steps I would take to teach myself to code and land my first programming job. Coding is kind of today's superpower, some might say. There are more coding jobs than there are programmers to fill them, which makes programming very high demand profession. Often people think that programming is some kind of rocket science. And well, if you work with rockets, then basically it is, but most of the time it's not. You don't necessarily need a degree to become a programmer. And most of the companies, they understand that as long as you know how to code, it doesn't really matter what kind of degrees you have. And the best part is that you can actually learn how to code by yourself, because internet is full of blog posts, tutorials, uh, courses, and all kinds of material that you can study to become a programmer. I'm not saying that it's a walk in a park, but as long as you are willing to put in the work, it's totally possible. So first I would sign up for an online beginner's course. Personally, I love courses because there is a clear structure and schedule that you will follow along and at no point you will feel like, okay, what should I learn next? Because you can always just take the next lesson on the course. And my advice for online courses is that instead of just watching the course, which most often is like the most lucrative way because it's the easiest, uh, instead of that also code along the lessons in the course. So don't just watch the course but also follow along by coding because in my experience that is much much better way to learn than just watch, watch someone else to code. And don't worry if you don't understand 100% everything uh, from the course. Uh, it will come with time and the most important thing is that you just make progress and do the coding yourself too. And one thing I like to do whenever I'm studying with the course is that uh, whenever I have coded the things that the course teaches, I will start to play around with the code and try different things and see if what works, what doesn't, and just overall play, play around with the code, uh, because that way you will get better understanding how things work and learn much better. So the next logical question is, well, Tuomo, what course should I take then? I would recommend taking beginner's course on uh, one language. And I would recommend that you focus on only one language at first and learn all the programming basics with it. Because it's much better to learn one language well than it is to learn a little bit of a few languages. It really doesn't matter that much on what language you decide to start with at as long as you focus on only one language. And the language I would start with is JavaScript because it's super popular and it pretty much works everywhere. It works in front-end and back-end and uh, desktop and so on. So it's very versatile language. And one other thing that I think is kind of a good thing and a bad thing in JavaScript is that for beginners, I think it's easier to use language that is not typed. So what that means is that you don't have to define that your variable is a string or a number or a boolean or anything like that. And you can just start programming much easier than with typed language. I think that once you learn more programming and when you create more complex applications, typing is really a must. But at the beginning, I think that uh, having JavaScript not being typed uh, is a good thing. One other popular option that people often recommend and start with is Python. And I think that's totally fine for you to start with Python. Uh, just remember that pick one and focus on it and stick with it. But if you want to start with JavaScript, I will leave a couple of links down in the description for some JavaScript beginner courses that I think could be good for you to start with. Some of them will cost a couple of bucks. And if you have the chance to put down the money for the course, I really think that it is worth the investment. After finishing the course, the next thing I would probably do is to uh, create some kind of personal project. And the thing I would say on the project is that uh, make sure that at first at least 
it's quite simple project and don't make it too complicated because it's important that you get your hands dirty you get to create something and then you as you create more projects you can uh, start making them harder and harder what's great in projects is that they force you to think like a programmer and you get to solve uh, like real problems with your coding skills and don't worry don't get discouraged if you have hard time solving the problems that you face in your projects just take it easy it's normal it will take some time to figure them out and learn and then you can always revisit your courses that you have taken and see how similar problems were solved in those and remember that google is your best friend in these i guarantee that someone else has run into the same or similar problem before and you can find solutions for that problem by doing just a little bit of google research and the last thing about projects is that you actually get to create something that's super motivating at least for me I always when i start a new project it's super motivating to see it come together and to actually see myself building something out of thin air and having projects is also good when you apply for jobs so it showcases for the potential employer uh, your skills and that you can actually do stuff that you say you can as with any job using the correct tools is super important and in programming your tool will be the thing that you write your code in basically and for this i recommend using some kind of code editor or ide i use vs code as my code editor for almost all the projects that i work on of course there is a lot of other code editors or ides also and if you choose to pick uh, someone some other that's totally fine my main point here is kind of just that make sure that you use an editor that you are comfortable with that works well and one that you know you know your way around because that's the program that you will be using a lot so it's important that you are familiar with it next thing i would learn is version control version control is vital for every programming job and i think this is uh, kind of the most underrated skill when they teach software development in schools because one of the first things that you actually run into when you start a programming job is version control because all your code will live in the version control and that way you will be exposed to it right away from the get-go every company uses version control and there are a bunch of different ones to use but i think the most popular one and the one that I use for all my projects is Git. Again, I'll leave a couple of links down below in the description for some Git resources where you can learn more about Git. But one thing I want to note right away is that Git is different from GitHub because Git is this version control system and GitHub is this website where you can host your code in. So you can upload your code to GitHub and they can be publicly or privately available there and one thing i would recommend is to actually host your code or host your personal projects in github so uh, anyone can see them and especially if you are applying for a job you should post your github profile for the uh, employer so they can see your personal projects right there on the site one other thing that is also important for programming is learning how to use terminal i know it's scary and don't think to look at that uh, black screen with green letters but uh, that's something we need to learn about because as we know in all the movies all the hackers they just type into the terminal and magical things happen so that's the reason we need it too just kidding but yeah you should definitely learn about terminal and how to use it i'm not saying that you should become a pro terminal user no just learn like your way around in the terminal and some basic commands like changing directories making making editing removing files and directories and one important thing is to uh, learn about the file structure in your computer 
that's really important uh, for programming to, to un understand how the file system and file structure or folder structure works. I use Terminal every day in my work and I actually think it's kind of even easier to use Terminal for these tools that you have as a programmer than it is to use with mouse and most of the tools actually come just with the terminal interface so you don't even have the option to use mouse for those programs. So get comfortable with the basic stuff in terminal because terminal will be one of your best friends as a programmer. As with the previous ones I leave some links down below where you can learn the basic stuff about terminal. If you take all these things that we went through in this video and you put in the work, which is the most important part that you put in the work, I'm confident that you are well on your way of becoming a software developer and landing your first programming job. Just remember that programming is supposed to be fun, so remember to have fun while learning to code and doing the actual coding.